welcome back to my channel. My name is Tweet. <laughs> My name is Tia Louise, for those of you that don't know, and for those of you that do know, what's poppin'? How are you? Okay, so I feel like that's pretty much gonna be our intro, because I keep saying that, and it just, it's it's sticking at this point. If it, it feels right, I like it, I'm gonna say it. So yeah, um, today's video, I just wanted to do a cute little car talks, a little cheeky moment, you know? I haven't done one of these in a minute. Um, and also, I love watching these videos because I just feel like they're so relaxing sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I love to just talk and to be heard and to listen. So these are super fun. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Uh, so let's just talk. Let's go. So life has been interesting to say the least. Like this is the first holiday season in a minute that's like different. Um, so this past year, uh, towards like the middle of the year, kind of like around the springtime, um, my family and I left a church and a ministry that we have been a part of for many, many, many years. I think almost 17 to 18 years, something like that. Um, and that was a huge, huge transition. At least for me, I'm, I'm a very loyal person and I try to stick it out. I try to toughen it out. You know, I try to just, if I'm there, I'm there. If you have me, you have me. I say this all the time. And um, yeah, when, when it just got to a point where that could no longer be, I felt so lost and I felt so confused on like, how do I get from point A to point B? You know what I mean? How do I talk and how do I move on? How do I experience new relationships, new friendships, a new church, you know what I'm saying? Without having like, the you know when like you're done wrong or like you're hurt or you feel hurt and then you hurt others you know what i'm saying i wasn't trying to do that and i wasn't trying to blame god i feel like a lot of times we blame god for man's mistake when that's not the case you know god didn't do anything god just allowed that person to do x y and z to make you stronger to make you better there's a greater purpose there's a greater reason you know what i'm saying behind certain things and so I had to get to a point where I understood that fully and I took, you know, some time to really just heal, really just cleanse my mind, cleanse my soul, you know, I got to a point where, you know, I, I'm not going to lie, you know, when I first left, I missed everything and everyone and I contemplated, was this the right decision? Was this the wrong decision? Was this how things were supposed to be? It, was it not how things were supposed to be? Was this on me? Was this on them? Was this on the de Like what, what was going on? You know, in our brains, we always try to find somebody to blame. And I just had to chuck it up as like, this isn't a situation where you have to find someone to blame. You know what I mean? Like this is just a situation that was unfortunate that it happened, you know, but it had to happen for the greater good and we move on, you know? And I'm one of those people that cannot stay sad, can't stay mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, let's get up, let's move on. But it was so hard, you know what I'm saying? Like in any other, uh, in any other instance, I could just like, all right, boom, you know, we good, whatever. This one had me in a chokehold, you feel me? All of my life was just surrounded around this situation and it was really hard for me to, <laughs> not me having hair in my eye, but it was just really hard for me, you know, to, to truly, just fall and trust God again, you know? And so God blessed us. We are in a new ministry um, and we are a part of a beautiful church family that has shown us not only that they just love us for us, but that they're not expecting us to do more than what we should be doing. You know what I mean? Um, there's a lot of things I had to unlearn. There's a lot of things that I had to, you know, just wait. So you don't have to do that wait, so that's not something that, you know what I mean? You know what I'm, like, literally, when I say revelations upon revelations, like, honestly, I mean that. Um, and I'm grateful. I'm grateful to God for that. And especially I'm grateful to God for that during this season that I'm in now. Um, you know, things are changing in my life and I'm happy about that. Um, you know, I'm not gonna share too much right now, but like God is really doing a work. And I think that, you know, we have to get to a place where we trust him and we free fall. And if, hey, if you bruise your knee, you bruise your knee, bro. Like, just get right back on up, put some Neosporin on that joint and keep it pushing. Like, literally, that's the mindset that I'm in right now. I don't care, like, 
I had to learn to forgive without the apology. I had to learn to love from afar. I had to learn that not every apology is legit and genuine. Therefore, you cannot get within my my peace realm that God has given me. You know what I mean? I know for me, I don't like to be upset or mad or angry or bitter or holding grudge. Like I did, bro, I can't do it. It takes way too much energy out of me. Um, and so I always try to make the peace, even though, you know, I have my prideful days and my prideful ways. So sometimes I ain't trying to make no peace. You hear me? You gonna come to me. But it, it, girl, like what? Who? <sighs> God is really coming back, you know what I'm saying? And people forget that <laughs> so quickly. I've forgotten that so many different times. I, I'm not going. I'm not going out that way again. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I can't do that. That's not for me. I will not allow someone to get me so riled up that I lose my Holy Ghost or that I forget the mission. The goal is heaven nothing else matters um so yeah i'm i'm grateful for where i am right now um me and my friends uh jasmine genesia and jaira uh we went live a couple of weeks ago and people just showed us mad love and just let us know that even though what we're doing did not seem like on trend or it didn't seem cool or all right or it seemed like we were being rebellious or whatever the case may be they they reminded us like bro we see god all over y'all you know what i mean um and i can't tell you how many messages i get literally weekly regarding like i just see the joy of the lord over you i just see god's presence all over you i just see his favor all over you i'm excited for where god is gonna take you x y and z you know and that stuff is really encouraging because I'm telling you, bro, there was some days I was crying myself to sleep like, bro, let me just go get my friends back. Let me just go. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you got to endure that wilderness season. You know what I have wanted to endure that at 26? No, but <laughs> that was what God had for me. And that's what we're doing. And that's what we've gotten through. And um, yeah, it's taken me a moment to even talk about like even just a little bit of this. Um, cause I'm not even going into detail, you know what I'm saying right now, but, um, yeah, it took me a minute to get to a place where I was actually comfortable and okay, you know, because again, when I, when I say I love hard, I love hard. When I say I'm loyal, I'm loyal. When I say I'll, I'll ride for you, I'll die for you. You know what I'm saying? I'll do that. Uh, well, maybe not die cause I, I'm still not married yet. I don't have kids, so. Don't make me have to die, but I'll ride for you for sure. <laughs> um, but no, seriously, um, God is good. And I'm just like at a place where I'm free walking, you know, and in that freedom, I know that there's testimonies that have to be shared so that somebody else can feel that, that same freedom. Like just a couple of weeks or what, like maybe a week or two ago, I posted a screenshot of me and my dad on FaceTime. And a lot of people have never seen my dad. Um, so that was like, I'm really putting him on the internet like this, you know? Um, but it was also very sweet because me and my dad have been trying and striving for a relationship. You know what I'm saying? And I'm 26, bro. So it's like the fact that I was able to share that with somebody, I can't tell you how many messages I got regarding people, um, saying that this gave them hope, their testimonies with them reuniting with their family members or anything like that. And it was just so encouraging. Cause I'm like, we really don't think that we go through situations to help others, but we really do, you know? And I just think that that is so cool. And I think God is just so amazing for literally allowing all of us, each of us, this sounds crazy, but allowing each of us to experience brokenness in order to help heal each other. Oof. I can shout on that. Like literally he allows us to literally be broken to help heal each other. That is crazy to me. I'm trying not to cry. That is crazy to me that that is what happens, you know? And so this situation regarding um, <clears throat> me and my dad <clears throat> was a situation that I was ashamed of for so many years. But then I was like, you know what? 
no, like I can't be ashamed of that because there's some little girl that probably doesn't have a relationship with her dad that needs the hope that you'll have a relationship with your dad or God will restore you or send you a new dad, you know what I'm saying? That will love you and you know, it, God is, man, God is just good. So I'm not gonna keep rambling. Um, you know, this again is going to be something that we're gonna do frequently on this channel. Um, I'm really excited because car talks are so much fun and literally they're therapeutic, you know? I feel like talking things out is just beautiful. Um, so yeah, let me know what more, um, what topics you guys want for my car talks. Um, seriously, I love you guys so much. Honestly, I'm so grateful you guys and I'm, I'm appreciative of all the love that's been shown towards me, my family, my friends. Um, you guys just really don't know how much you guys mean to us and how perfect you guys are for this season of my world. Um, I've been really grateful um, and blessed to have a sense of community as I was going through a transitional period of losing the community that I once had. God never let me feel lonely. You know what I mean? And I, I just feel like that is beautiful. And God just literally showed me that he is the ultimate for lifer like yeah we have great friends yeah we have besties yeah we have family um but god is ultimate like he is the ultimate friend he is the ultimate family and so i'm just blessed so if you feel like you're going through a similar situation if you feel like you're hurting if you feel like you're alone i i really encourage you to tap in with jesus like legit let him know god i'm feeling x y and z God, I don't understand this. God, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. And he will literally come and comfort you. I promise. I promise. I promise. So again, I love you guys so much. I'm so grateful for you guys. You have no idea. Please, um, you can DM me on Instagram or drop some uh, car talk suggestions in the comments down below or on Facebook, whatever. Um, but I'm going to start doing these more often. Um, I'm going to tell my story. Um, more often because I want people to be blessed and I want um, people to know like I hear you I see you I'm with you we're together so I love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope that you like comment share and subscribe we're at vlogmas day five and yeah I'll see you guys soon bye I just want to wish you a very merry Christmas and a happy